welcome to iHollywood TV's original new series, Great Day Hollywood. I'm very excited about today's show because the one and only Alfonso Ribeiro's here. Ah, you know him from hosting America's Funniest Home Videos or Dancing with the Stars, my two favorites. I love him. He is such a great guy, a great person, and I'm super excited for you all to see our conversation. But first, let me share with you some exciting news in the cheese world. May is American Cheese Month. Did you know that? Ah. It sure is. Cookbook author, recipe developer, and food writer Maricel Salazar is partnering with Wisconsin Cheese. And here's what she had to say about the month of celebrating cheese. Mm, making me so hungry. Hi, I'm food writer, recipe developer, and cookbook author Maricel Salazar. And it is American Cheese Month. And I am so happy to partner with Wisconsin, the state of cheese, because cheese just makes the world a happier, tastier place. Now, did you know that Wisconsin makes almost half of the nation's specialty cheeses? I mean, they have over 600 varieties of cheese, more than 1,200 makers, and I'm so, so happy. I have the best job in the world. I bet you today we're gonna find your next favorite cheese pairing. So when you're at your local grocery store, look for the proudly Wisconsin badge on cheese packaging, or check out the Welcome to Wisconsin campaign. And today we're gonna find your next favorite cheese pairing. So what is a perfect bite? For spring, I really love to use fresh flavors, rich ingredients, and that for me means Belgioyosa burrata. This burrata is perfect with blackberry, a little bit of granola, and a fresh sprig of mint, preferably from my garden. I actually had this for breakfast, so I highly recommend you check it out as a daytime bite with a little bit of a higher protein content. Now, for something that's more classic that we can amp up and make unique, for me, that's cheddar. Cheddar is my favorite cheese and I have been obsessed with a Wisconsin aged cheddar. I'm working with a 15 year old aged Wisconsin cheddar and I know it's premier quality when I see that proudly Wisconsin badge on its packaging. I love to stack this cheddar with some dilly bean, which is a pickled bean, some almonds and fried onions on top. It is a savory bite that really packs a kick, perfect for parties. Now, we're gonna travel a little bit internationally without actually having to do the travel part. Hustalipa. Hustalipa, what a great name. It is commonly referred to as bread cheese in Scandinavia because of its light crust that looks similar to a piece of toast and it doesn't melt when it's heated, rather just beautifully softens. So I love pairing this Wisconsin baked cheese on a piece of toast, dot of orange marmalade and a fresh sprig of thyme. Now, if we're going to keep rolling down our international adventure, let's talk feta. Wisconsin's Odyssey feta-style cheese is actually made with cow's milk, so it has a creamy texture, a milder flavor, but that traditional tang that we all know and love from feta. Pair this with a little bit of slice of pear, citrus ginger jam, some microgreens, and black pepper just for that pop of color. Now, for something a little bit more sweet, because I have a sweet tooth, I have been obsessed with Sartori's black pepper, Bella Vitano. It has a buttery texture and finish, goes great with meringue, raspberry, and some orange zest grated on top. And one more sweet treat for you. We have Wisconsin's Wood River Cheddar Gruyere, which is exactly how it sounds. It's a fusion of cheddar and Gruyere aged together for sweet, nutty notes. Let's put this bad boy on a Biscoff cookie sour cherry jam, and a sprig of fresh rosemary. Now, I want you to head over to your local grocery store and look for the proudly Wisconsin badge on cheeses. We're in 98% of stores nationwide. Or you can head on over to wisconsincheese.com for more recipes, learn more about Wisconsin's cheesemakers, and make sure you follow them on social at Wisconsin Cheese. Thank you so much. I'm Maricel Salazar, and let's find your next favorite cheese pairing. That is such great stuff, right? I mean, if you're a cheese lover like me, go to wisconsincheese.com for more information. Now, this might just be my favorite guest uh, to welcome on the show. I adore her. She is so fun. She's so sweet. She has the greatest personality of all. I'm talking about Chessie Post. Hi, Chessie. She's partnering with 1-800-Flywords, and I happen to have some here on the set for Mother's Day in this adorable Mickey Mouse vase. Oh, yes, she chatted with me all about what you can get your mom for Mother's Day coming up this Sunday, May 12th. Check it out. Hi, Noah. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. And at 1-800-Flowers, 
We're on a mission. We want to help you express and connect and find the perfect way to celebrate all the amazing moms out there. So I have rounded up a few of my favorites that I love to give, as well as a few that I would also really love to get. <laughs> and we will talk all about it. So let's go ahead and get started. So, you know, last year, flowers were the top selling gift for moms out there. What's the most popular gift for 2024? What are you seeing as a big trend? this year for Mother's Day? Well, flowers are topping the charts again. I mean, as the most popular Mother's Day gift, and we expect to deliver around 20 million stems this year. So that's a lot of flowers. What? I know, I know. And, you know, a few of my favorites, uh, of course, start with peonies. And I am not alone there, Noah. It turns out that peonies are the top trending flower on TikTok with over one billion likes. I mean, wow. can you believe that? So, you know, we all love our TikTok trends. So these two- I need <laughs> one billion likes. <laughs> right? <laughs> we all do. <laughs> and um, so I love these two beautiful um, bouquets. One is in a wicker vase, which I mean, really always reminds me of my Southern roots. And the other is in a really stylish mm -hmm. apothecary jar. Also tulips, mm -hmm. incredibly popular this year. We plan to deliver over 4 million tulips, and I will tell you where one of those bouquets is going, and that is straight to my <laughs> mother-in-law, who is Dutch, and she adores you know, her homeland's native flower. You know, I'm looking at the yellow, uh, blue, and pink flowers in that cute box that's beside oh. you. It looks amazing. <gasps> That is adorable. Isn't that incredible? Very springy. Yeah, so this is Fleur de Chocolat, and this is Belgian chocolate roses. <gasps> and there's a little what? butterfly in the middle, and this is a stunning gift, right? I mean, it's just so pretty. I, I could look at it all day. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, that's yes. Very gorgeous. And, and these are hand dipped <laughs> by, you know, um, artisan chocolatiers. So this is a really, really special gift. I, I can see how that might oh, have caught your eye. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Chassie, we know that moms also want to, you know, spend quality time with their families this Mother's Day. You know, how about gifts that help bring loved ones together? Oh, I know. I love that idea. And I was thinking maybe it could be really festive to host a family game night and personalizationmall.com, yeah. right? They make custom games. So I think that is so fun. Like, all right, we all know Wordle, right? But Scrabble is the OG word game. So, <laughs> so if your mom's a Scrabbler, I think that a custom scra vintage Scrabble set would be, she would just love, right? And then also they have Clue and Monopoly. Noah, you're not gonna believe our last yes. gift because if you want something uh -huh. outside of the box, and we mean that quite literally here, from 1-800-Flowers Marketplace. This is the Blossom and Butterfly Surprise Box. And look what happens when I lift the lid. Ah! Butterflies! Look at that. Oh my goodness. I mean, can you believe that? And they, they're announcing the arrival of a delicious cake in here. And I hope my son is watching because butterflies are my spirit animal <laughs> and they match my wallpaper. So this is a strong suggestion. <laughs> I love that. That is what I'm going to get my mom Isn't for Mother's Day. Fun? Is that right there? Because I love anything that has a show or, you know, shoots out yeah. anything. <laughs> so especially the butterflies, you know, I love a confetti cannon, but those butterflies <laughs> now can just shoot out and say, happy Mother's Day, right? mom. You know, So joyful. <laughs> so I just, I just love it. <laughs> so many yeah, fun options. that is and, adorable. And thoughtful So many options. great ideas. I always love when you come on the show because you share such great Helpful ideas. This is a great one for Mother's Day. Tell us where should we go for more information, Chassie, yes, can, on all these great finds. Thank you. You can find all of these beautiful gifts and even more ideas at 1-800-Flowers.com. And thanks so much for having me. It's always great to see you, Noah. Such great ideas from our good friend, Chassie. Thank you, Chass. Now, speaking of Mother's Day, I have a little gift for all of you called Rose Forever. And look how beautiful and yellow they are. Mm -hmm, matches the tie-dye. 
hoodie of mine. Uh, Rose Forever, you guys, is a New York-based brand that launched in 2019. This company designs luxurious rose boxes with natural roses that stay fresh and gorgeous for at least one full year. Yes, yes. Each rose is handcrafted by professional flower artisans and treated with natural oil to preserve its freshness and beauty. We have partnered up with Rose Forever here at Great Day Hollywood to help give your mom a meaningful gift for Mother's Day. Head on over to roseforever.com to pick out a perfect bouquet that will sure make your mom smile this Mother's Day. Oh, yes, it's so cute. Use our 30% off discount code iHollywoodTV30 to get 30% off. That is iHollywoodTV30 and our free shipping discount code iHollywoodTV. That's right. If you want free shipping and who does not want free shipping, iHollywoodTV when checking out at roseforever.com. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Now, speaking of Mother's Day, I had the greatest time chatting with Alfonso Ribeiro. It's time for Alfonso. He chatted all about his latest projects and why he is partnering up with the brand Bob Evans to celebrate moms out there. Here's what he had to say. Check out our conversation. Thank you, Noah. Thanks Thanks for having me. Well, Alfonso, let's go ahead and get started. So how do you manage to bring out the fun in everything that you do? Because you're so fun, you're so upbeat, you're so energetic. Well, I love what I do. I love everything that I get a chance to do. I love uh, dancing on Dancing with the Stars. I love AFE. I love doing Fresh Prince, right? Like, at the end of the day, I want to bring laughter into people's lives, and I'm lucky enough that I get to do that. You know, as you're discussing your Bob Evans partnership with us this morning, Alfonso, what can you tell us about the nationwide spokesperson search? Well, I've, I've been working with Bob Evans Grocery for many years now, and we're looking for my replacement as the next Bob Evans spokesperson. So if you are a kitchen-savvy person with, with a passion for mealtime hacks and shortcuts, um, send in your best Bob Evans hacks to uh, BobEvansGrocery.com um, between now and May 24th for a chance to become the next spokesperson for Bob Evans. Now, you have so much food on the table with you this morning, Alfonso. So what's a simple way to make a Mother's Day meal extra special this year? Yeah, I think Mother's Day is always special, but it's it's great when you're able to spend a little extra time with mom. And so Bob Evans ready to heat dinner sides and breakfast products provide the the perfect blank canvas to add variety to any meal. Right. We've got right here. We've got ham and peas with cheese. Right. We've got the mashed potatoes with chives and bacon and the breakfast products. And so with 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 uh, with Bob Evans blank canvas. The variety is all that you want. You can come up with whatever you feel is the best way to, to spice up your meal. Um, this mm -hmm. way, it's done in 10 minutes, and then you can spend more time with mom. Now tell us, where can we go for more information on everything that we have discussed with Bob Evans? Uh, you can go to BobEvansGrocery.com uh, for all the information. Also, their Facebook page and Instagram page, at BobEvansGrocery. Um, but you can go there uh, on, the, on the .com and get the link to send in your video and uh, become the next spokesperson. You might win $35,000 nice. and some Bob Evans products. 35G, as you like to say on America's Funniest Home Videos, the G part at the very end of the show. <laughs> yes. I love that. It's, it's always so fun. Now, let's talk about that. So America's Funniest Home Videos is currently airing new episodes every Sunday on ABC. What can we expect in this new season of the show? Because you are such the perfect host for this. I, I, I know Tom has to be so proud. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm so grateful to Tom. Tom obviously uh, went to the producers and the network and, and told them, obviously, that, you know, I'd be a great person to take his place. Um, but we've got uh, the season finale is coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, so we want you to see we've got our $100,000 show and our grand prize spectacular mm -hmm. coming up uh, so people can check it out and uh, get to see the end of the season and see which video tops the list as the best video of this season. It's been such a phenomenal season. I cannot wait to see who will win big on the series final. Now, Alfonso, you have a new series that airs across local ABC affiliates titled Jack Hanna's Passport, which is part of the Weekend Adventure educational block on ABC. So can you talk to us about the show and how you got involved with this specific project? 
Well, you know, they came to me and they asked me whether, you know, I'd be interested to, you know, become part of this show and, and, and become the host of the show. Uh, it's been uh, fantastic. Uh, you know, Jack Hanna is world renowned and uh, to be able to take some of the old footage uh, from back in the day and repurpose it and create a new energy to show people mm -hmm. what, you know, what, what's great in the world of, of, of being uh, there with the animals, loving the animals. Uh, and learning, you know, um, I, I've never been a person who who have known a lot about animals, so uh, I'm yeah. actually learning as I go, and it's kind of cool. I like that. I love that. And what is something that you have learned so far from hosting that specific show, Alfonso? Speaking about learning about animals, you know, for me, it's always about tone, the tone and the energy of the show. Uh, I've watched, mm -hmm. you know, Jack Hanna through the years, and so. Uh, being yeah. able to kind of see his energy and trying to match that energy and, and make people uh, enjoy the flow of the show. So um, I've, 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 I've enjoyed doing that. Now, lastly, Dancing with the Stars is set to return this fall. You're doing so much, Alfonso. I love it. Uh, how much fun <laughs> do you have with the judges, uh, pro dancers, and having Julian Huff right by your side? Because last season was just amazing. I watched it. I enjoyed it. You and Julianne have such great chemistry going on to carry on that show for the whole two hours. Yeah, thank you. It's you know I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. Um, I'm I'm such great friends with all the dancers. Thanksgiving is at my house every year, and all the dancers come <laughs> who don't oh. leave town. They all come to my house for Thanksgiving. So there's a family there, and uh, I love the judges. And having Julianne as my as my co-host has been fantastic. Um, thank you for saying that. You know the chemistry I feel is great between us. Uh, we really get along, mm -hmm. and we really connect with each other. And so, you know, we both have such a wonderful connection to the show. Uh, she being a judge, a pro, uh, and now uh, one of the hosts, uh, there, we, we understand the show so well that we're able to bounce off of each other uh, just with such ease. And, and I think it has really helped bring some of the joy and some of the fun and uh, bringing it back home on Dance with the Stars. Well, I'll be watching this fall, Alfonso. So nice to see you once again, buddy. You take care. You have a great day. And thank you for coming back on the show. Absolutely. Thanks, Noah. Have a great day. What a great guy in Hollywood. For more information, you guys, visit www.bobevansgrocery.com. Now, lastly, I have been following our next guest around since his days on ABC's The Chew. Um, I was ecstatic when I found out I would be speaking with TV chef Michael Simon. We recently conducted an interview to speak about spring clean and the importance of science clean for consumers out there. A real important topic. Check out my conversation with Michael on that. And also, we dish on his Food Network series, 24 and 24 last chef standing ah, what fun hey no how are you thanks for having me michael's very nice to have you on i hollywood tv so first off what does cleanliness do for restaurants the hotels and other public spaces out there well you know for me whether we're doing the show 24 and 24 or uh mm -hmm. i'm at my house or i'm at one of my restaurants like mabel's it's, for me cleanliness is always job one so you know that's what we are looking to accomplish giving the guests that extra sense of confidence that we have taken the steps to make sure that our restaurant is not only clean but it's scientific clean um and that is what ecolab science certified does for you all of us like to keep things clean, Michael, but why is this level of clean so important for business owners out there? Well, you know, the, the Ecolab Science Certified Program, it addresses uh, high guest expectations. So they know that cleaning, disinfecting, taking food safety, doing, taking it to the next level, um, which not only affects the guest experience, but affects the bottom line of the restaurant. Absolutely. Now, Michael, talk to us about some of the components of the program. Well, the, the Ecolab Science Certified Program, it includes a few key elements that, that I feel are essential to business owners, um, from innovative products to in-depth training, uh, a lot of breakthrough technology. Um, it, it really helps streamline operations from the back of the house to the front of the house. So there is that connection there and the consistent performance, the criteria uh, is designed to, it, it increases employee awareness um, but also employee safety and guest safety. So, you know, when, when guests come to my restaurant for dinner, the, I want them to come in and know that they are in a good place. And that is what the Eagle Labs 
um, science certified seal does is it gives them the confidence that they're going to have a good experience and they don't have to worry about the other things. Now, Michael, for everything that you have told us about this morning, where should we go for more information? Well, if you go to sciencecertified.com, um, it will mm -hmm. give you more information to show you not only what Ecolab is doing, uh, but help you get involved in the program also. Nice. We'll have that website appearing below. And by the way, Michael, let's talk about the show that you're hosting on Food Network 24 and 24 Last Chef Standing. It premiered this month on the network. Um, Michael, what can you tell us about the show and some of the upcoming episodes that we can expect in the first season this year? <laughs> well, the show has been wild. You know, it's it's been out for two weeks, and uh, I'm very happy and proud to say that we have uh, – it has been the most viewed freshman premiered show in I think over five years for Food Network, so it's been very exciting for oh, us. Oh wow! Um, and it's, it's 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 twenty four chefs, twenty four hours, twenty four competitions. So I always I, what I would tell people is it's a lot like <laughs> when you open a restaurant. Like when we opened our first restaurant, I don't think Liz and I slept for like three days. So it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty intense. But I mean, life as a chef is pretty intense. So. Um, you know, it's, it is, uh, it is a wild ride. It is very fun to watch. It's, it's the first show that I'm aware of on Food Network and, and some of these other cook, cooking show that breaks the fourth wall. So you really get to yeah. see everything that is happening all the time, um, which is both intimidating and fantastic. And knowing the chefs had to complete 24 challenges within 24 hours, Michael, do you think you could personally do that now? I, well, you know, I'm 55 now, so probably, I, you know, <laughs> I, 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 yes, I feel I could do it. I might have a slight limp at the end, but I think I could still do it. You know, all, all those years of doing Iron Chef and running the restaurants and doing all those things, I'm still pretty crafty. You know, I, I'm like a, a, a boxer towards the end of his career. I know a couple good tricks to get me through. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly run on six to seven hours of sleep, much less staying up 24 hours doing 24 challenges. I would well, I would be a disaster. I, I will kitchen. tell you, we, we Liz and I flew back from Los, we've been in LA for two weeks. We flew back, uh, uh -huh. flew back last night. So I'm going on about three hours right now. I feel great. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You're like uh, just a little bit, you know, tired and a little bit awake. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right, oh, I'm right in the middle of things somewhere. So I'm still on your yeah, time, which is good. Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> now, by the way, Michael, um, being the host of this show, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, did you have to stay up 24 hours, uh, you know, doing this? Like, you know, how did that go being one of the hosts with your, you know, co-host? Yeah, so Esther Choi and I, we were actually up for 32 straight hours. Um Oh my God. Because the show was filming for 24 straight hours with no breaks, and it was basically like doing a live show. Um, you know, we. So, how did you go to the bathroom? Well, we we, we tagged in and out <laughs> occasionally to go to the bathroom. So, uh -huh. and, and I, I, I don't even want to thank God they didn't have an espresso count on what was happening during the show because I was, I was uh, drinking, I was uh, definitely fueled by, you know, Italian coffee. <laughs> Goodness. Well, if you have not watched the show, you guys, you got to catch up on new episodes of Michael's new series on the Food Network, 24 and 24 Last Chef Standing, airing with new episodes every Sunday at 8, 7 Central on the Food Network. Thank you, Michael, for coming on the show. Thank you for talking about the show. And also, thank you for talking about cleanliness in restaurants and businesses and everywhere that we go. Because after COVID, I think a lot of us, uh, it really changed how we view things now and how we want stuff to be, you know, absolutely 100% clean. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely no. We just, you know, ultimately we'll, we want guests to be able to come into our restaurants and, and know they are in a safe place. And that is for sure indeed. Michael Simon, thank you so much. You're always welcome back anytime on iHollywood TV. You take care and have a great day. You too, Noah. Stay well. What a wonderful way to kick off Great Day Hollywood. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe because we got so many more great guests coming your way. And whatever you're watching today, make it a great day. We'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.